Hey fellow foodies and travelers. Get ready for a culinary adventure as we share with you all of our mouth-watering vegetarian food finds at the Old Spitalfields Market in London. The lively food section here has been a revelation for us and we can't wait to share all of our discoveries with you. The market is located in the heart of East London and opens 7 days a week from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on most days. More information on opening times and how to get here is in a link in the description box below. We visited this market several times so we could share with you a wider variety of vegetarian food options available here. So you will see everything that we tried over the course of these multiple visits. If you're new here, welcome. We are Sakshi DJ and Little Pixie. We share our travel and vegetarian food explorations from around the world, hoping that you will find your next food or travel inspiration here. Hi folks and welcome to the channel. I'm Sakshi and today we are back at the Old Spitalfields market and today we are here for the food. In the past we had come to explore the market for all the shops and to explore all the things that you can buy here and we have created a separate vlog for it. If you haven't checked it out you can check it out. I'll include the link in the description below. But today it's all about trying all the street food over here and we are so excited and we can't wait to dig in. So, let's go. So the food options at Spitalfields market are as usual amazing. A huge variety of stalls here. So you have Indian, Chinese, Italian, Mexican, Thai, you name it and you will have uh, a lot of variety of that food. And apart from the restaurant, apart from the uh, food from different uh, cultures, you also have bakery products, you have desserts, you have uh, drinks, you have chocolates. So it's just amazing and mind blowing. So we had few we tried few of the places today and the noodles we tried was just amazing and the kati roll was also awesome Indigo Rasoi is a trader that offers Indian street food such as samosa bun onion bhaji masala dosa and more We went for a paneer kati roll here which had nice flavors and was a decent version of this popular Indian street snack And if you're looking for legit Indian chai to pair it with, then Chai Guys is just the place for it. They offer five different chai varieties, which you can sample before deciding what to go for. Our go-to here has been the classic masala chai, and we haven't been disappointed. So this place in Spitalfields Market called Sad Italia. So Instagram made me do it because they're so popular in Instagram uh, for their. folded pizza which is quite popular in italy because uh, you can take uh, the folded pizza you can just take and walk and eat the the folded pizza looks amazing quite it's very hot out from the oven and the sauces the cheese and the basil and olive oil smells good like wood burn and i'm going to dig in now to see how is it mm Okay the taste wise it's so good now uh, the, the the dough is very soft chewy and the tomato looks so fresh the sauce is so fresh oh my god it feels like you're just eating the freshly grated tomatoes the sauce is tasting so well um, in this hot pizza and one more thing it's also very friendly on the pocket because it's only 5 pounds compared to the other pizzas you will order probably 8 pounds 9 pounds and some of the other places you might eat pizza more than 10 pounds so 5 pounds folded pizza amazing to go <laughs> So we are ready to explore our next item from Dumpling Shack Unfortunately they don't have any vegetarian dumplings so but I was craving for the spicy noodles so these are like size spicy uh, sesame paste spicy noodles uh, topped with cucumbers so I'm going to mix the paste the noodles looks amazing with a lot of chilies as you can see and there's a sesame paste Mm. This is so good. The sesame paste and the chili kicks in at the end. It takes me back to Asia when in Singapore or any other country where you have like noodles you eat. But this is that's spicy noodles. 
good if you are craving for spicy food. Nili's Turkish Kitchen is known for their scrumptious wraps. Here we tried their meat-free gozlemi, which is a thin flatbread with the filling of potato, spinach, and cheese. It also comes with a bulgur salad on the side, and all in all, it tasted really good and was quite filling too. On another occasion, we tried the tofu baos at Yum Bun and loved it. The baos themselves are soft and fluffy, and the filling is juicy and flavorsome, which consists of crispy tofu, black beans mayo, garlic choysam, and chili pickles. They also have a mushroom bao option, which we haven't tried out yet. If you do, let us know how it was in the comments below. Fen Noodles is a newly opened kitchen from the team behind Dumpling Shack. From here, we got ourselves vegan dry mix noodles, which were thin noodles tossed in the signature spicy sauce and then topped with vegan dumplings. We enjoyed both the dumplings and the noodles, but a fair warning that this dish is not for the faint-hearted. The signature sauce is super spicy, so choose based on spice levels that you can handle. As we had skipped breakfast this morning, we had room for more. This brought us to a trader called Crunch, known for serving hearty sandwiches. We went for the umami shroom witch, prepared in a golden brioche bread with a filling of fried oyster mushrooms, marinated vegetables, seaweed, and mayonnaise infused with spices. This was such an interesting sandwich that came with a Japanese twist and tasted great too. They also offer a vegan sandwich option in case that's what you're looking for. So, another Instagram reel has brought me here <laughs> to Humble Crumble. This place is so packed always. So, we came early today, so that's why there are no queues. Otherwise, you have to wait at least for 15, 20 minutes or 30, 40 minutes as well. And they have different uh, branches in different markets. So, we are lucky today. So, we got early. So, we have got mixed berry crumble uh, along with cold custard. A lot of people were ordering hot ones. We thought, let's order cold one and see how's it. And the custard is topped with a lot of toppings. So you have like almonds, you have hazelnuts, uh, rose petals. But of course you can customize whatever you don't feel like eating or if you are allergic to something, you can just remove that. So I'm gonna dig in, it looks amazing. So this is my first bite. Mm. The custard is so humble, soft, creamy and the, all the crumble from the shortbread is crunchy all the nuts is giving you that crunchy flavor so soft and sweet and smooth so mm. so as some of you know i'm not a dessert person but this one is an exception it's not too sweet it has a great combination of different ingredients that go so well together. I am so pleased and I really recommend this place to people who don't like desserts. Do give it a try and you might just change your mind. Our final stop on the day was at Gales, a well-known bakery chain in the UK known for great coffee and baked food items. They offer a few good vegetarian options too, such as spinach and vegetable quiche and savoury scones. We picked up a few items to take back home with us and called it a day. Thanks for watching the video folks. I hope you really enjoyed the video and all the food we tried. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe. Until next time, see you in the next video.